This is nine minutes of knowledge not taught to you in college. This is Big Phantasma on the Neo Savage channel. I'm going to teach you today about things that you can't buy that really make you happy. So, I was talking to this chick on, on the phone, and she was talking about how she wants all this money and how money can buy her anything she wants. And it came to me that really, it's the things you can't buy that make us rich. The things you can't buy that enrich our lives. Like, for example, you can buy a dog, but if the dog doesn't love you, you're not going to be happy with it, right? I can buy a dog, and the dog will hate my ass. But that feeling of the dog loving you, you really can't buy that. That's where the dog just choose to love you, you know? Same thing with the love of a child or a friend or someone else. At first, a baby's going to love you because you love it. But then things happen and the kid stops loving you because maybe you're an asshole. But you can't get back that love of a child once you're an asshole to the kid, you know? You can't get that innocence back. Same thing in a relationship. You, you can't buy you can't buy that feeling of a relationship where you, you two are into each other and you feel the passion and you just want to be around each other and you just want to be in each other's arms. You can't buy that. You, you can rent that feeling from a prostitute maybe, but it won't be genuine. It won't be real. You can't really buy it, you see? You can't, you can't buy the feeling of a wedding. You can pay for the wedding. But if you're really not in love with the person, then it's a shallow, pointless party. Right? You can't buy these things. You can't buy the time with your grandfather when he taught you how to fish, or your nana when she taught you how to make cook, cook something on the stove. You can't, you can't, there's no amount of money that will buy that. And you can't do it again, because that time has passed. You know? You're older now, you already know. So I was thinking, because you know what? To be honest, we all have struggles, right? Even when you're making money, you have struggles. I was making a lot of money a while ago, and I still have money problems, believe it or not. Right? How could you have money problems you're making that much money? Well, you make a lot, you spend a lot. It happens. And now I don't make that much, I don't spend that much. <laughs> and that happens too. But I'm okay with it. Because I have a lot of things, I have a lot of people around me, I have a lot of things around me that enrich my life through experiences that I can't buy. I can't buy a friendship. Because you know what? As soon as the money's gone, that friend will leave if he's not a Jew friend. Right? You can't buy a friendship. You can't buy a relationship. I know there's a lot of women that'll be like, well, I'm I'm a special catch, you know, I you need to pay for my time, isn't that well? If you, if you want to put a limit to it, yeah, pay, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're limiting yourself. I would give you the keys to the whole kingdom, but you just want some money. Okay. Easy. That's simpler for me. You know, <laughs> these girls that run this game, like, oh, buy me this, buy me that, they don't realize that if you marry a motherfucker, you get half. It's jump change, baby. Come on. Anyhow, but you still can't buy love. Trust me, you can't buy love. So what's money good for? Money's good for things that we think we want. Like, yeah, I really want an ATV. Yeah, I want an ATV and a trailer, and then I'm going to drive and go ride it, and then what? It breaks, it needs an oil change, and I need air for my tires on my trailer, and... See how these things go? You know what I mean? You get into something, oh, let's play golf. And you get into golf, oh, now I need a golf bag. I need golf clubs. I need golf spikes. I need golf clothes. I need money for the range. See, it's just like we get distracted by these things that just suck our money. Right? When we're, trying, when we're chasing after that experience, that thing you can't buy, that perfect game, that, that beautiful sunset, that picnic with someone you like, having a good time, you know? You can't buy that. You can't buy that. I'm telling you. Okay? So to everyone thinks that they're chasing money, the money's going to give them happiness, I already know you're lost. You're already lost. <laughs> you're never going to find it. Never. Look at Jeff Bezos. 
richest man in the world. He still cheats on his wife. He has everything. And he still cheats on his wife. Why? Because he wasn't happy. Right? He's trying to find happiness in another woman. Okay. Richest man in the world still has issues. Right? <laughs> so, I'm going to spend the rest of my life going after things that you can't buy. Time. Experiences. Happiness. Peace. Love. That warm feeling you get when you're around people that love you. You can't buy that. You can't buy it. You can't buy love. You can't buy time. So what's money really good for? Get you in debt so you have a bill every month. That's the hook, baby. Got you now. Got your bank account number. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And are you happy? Are you happy with that purchase you made on Amazon? Are you happy with that thing you ordered from Macy's online? Are you happy with that thing you thought you wanted? No, you want something else now, don't you? And that's the problem. It's shallow. It's empty. Go for things that make you happy. They don't cost that much. They really don't. It's, it's silly. Well, you know what? This is going to be way short. This is not nine minutes of knowledge. I dropped it in under seven minutes. Hey, like that. That's called process improvement, getting better. Yeah, it's all over, baby. Boom.